Good morning YouTube, today I'm doing my May book haul. I've actually managed to kind of hold back this month so it's not as huge as all of my other book hauls which I am very proud about I have to admit. So the first book I picked up was Underworld by Meg Cabot. This is the second book in the series. Basically I picked up the first book from Poundland a couple of months ago so I saw this one in there as well and thought hey why not pick it up while I'm here? I still need to get this like little sticker thing off it, but anyway. So this basically focuses around the underworld and spirits and a girl kind of going there, I think. I'm not too sure. I mean, this is the second book, so I don't want to read too much about it because I've yet to read the first book. But I really like the covers. They're really cool. I love the whole light and dark aspect of it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this series at some point this summer. Next up, I picked up Geek Girl Picture Perfect by Holly Smale. Now, if you've watched my channel for a bit, you'll know that I really, really enjoy this series. And I have book one, two, and five, so I'm kind of slowly filling in the gaps. So I saw this one in a charity shop and just picked it up because I think it's actually book three in the series, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, book three, so now I can carry on with the series. And I'm really excited to see what trouble Harriet gets into next. Basically, she is a super smart, nerdy girl, sort of thrown into the world of modeling. And it's just really amusing, it's really funny, and it's a very light-hearted read. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck back into the series. Next, I finally caved and bought Passenger by Alexander Bracken. I've seen this book around so much, because let's face it, who hasn't by now? So yeah, I picked this up in the paperback, and I'm in love with the cover and I've yet to read it. I know that it's like time travel themed I think. Maybe there's something to do with the ship because of like the bottle and the shipness of it. I don't know. I feel like I've seen so many people talk about this book yet I've not really taken into my brain what it's about. Either way I know I'm bound to love it so I'm super excited to get to this one. I'm hoping to read it super soon like pretty much every book. I swear I buy so many books and I want to read them all next. How do people choose what to read next? Tell me in the comments how you pick which book to read next because I really really struggle with this. I can never decide. I have like just, yeah, basically my entire TBR shelf is the book I want to read next. So I also picked up A School for Good and Evil, A World Without Princes by Saman Chenani. So I loved the first book in this series and when I picked up Passenger it was buy one get one half price so I picked this one up too because I just can't wait to get stuck back into this. It's a middle grade read focusing around a school for witches and a school for princesses and it's just a really really fun story and I really enjoyed it. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting back into it. And also I still need to pick up book three because I think it's just a trilogy. I've seen on Instagram and stuff these beautiful hardback sets of the three of them. I know I'm really regretting not getting them because they're just so beautiful. But hey, they still have these gorgeous covers. I love how they're sort of like graphic novels. But yes, so I'm super excited to get stuck into it. Next up, like every other booktuber ever in the world, slash reader, slash just everybody, I picked up A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass. I've yet to read it though, literally, because I've been so caught up with work. I've not had chance to get stuck into this beautiful book and I need to because it's just my baby. I loved the first one so much and apparently this one is like 10 times better and apparently it's really steamy and it's like twice as thick. So I'm definitely gonna have to spend a day just immersing myself back in this world because I love Sarah J Maas's writing so much. So I'm so excited to see what happens next. I'm really excited to see what happens in the night court as well because I know a lot of this book takes place there so yeah super duper super duper hyped about this book like everyone else <laughs> I also got a copy of Time Bomb by Scott K Andrews basically I picked this one up because I needed to read it before reading the second book because I was sent the second one as an arc but I hadn't yet read the first one so I picked this up gave it a read. It is super awesome. It's basically a time travel novel following three different people. It's multi-perspective and they're sort of flung about in time being chased by various people. It's really fast-paced and action-packed and it's one of those books where I feel like if you liked the film Jumper maybe you'd really enjoy this. So yeah, I mean it's a time travel novel and I've not read too many of them lately. I know Passenger's meant to be so 
I think that this will be a summer of time travel. Last but not least, I got sent Unrivaled by Alison Knoll, and this was a really, really intriguing read. Again, it's a multi-perspective novel, but it focuses around more of like a mystery of a missing girl, and you kind of have to try piece together what you think's happened to her. It's the first in a series, so obviously it doesn't give the whole thing away, it doesn't sort of tie up every loose end, but it was really, really good. I definitely would recommend it for people who liked the Pretty Little Lies TV show. I would say the books, but I've not read them yet. I definitely want to pick them up. That's one thing this book's done, made me want to watch and read more Pretty Little Liars. So they are all the books that I picked up this month. I did get a couple of ebook arc type things, but I think that I'm going to do a video separately on that because I just have quite a few things on my Kindle now, so I thought maybe at some point I will just show you what I've got on my Kindle. So yeah, let me know in the comments what books you picked up this month, I'd love to hear. Did any of you not buy A Court of Mist and Fury? I will be super shocked if you didn't, because I feel like everybody and their mother and their brother and their dog has this freaking book. <laughs> but yeah, so I make new videos several times a week. Please do subscribe if you want to find out when I post a new one, and I will see you next time. Bye! Shoof, shoof. What am I doing? I don't know. Bye. <laughs>